Men led their men, he attacked a tribe of gypsies. He brutally made a scarecrow out of the tribe's leader, and made a scarecrow out of him. They buried the remaining woman alive. She died clutching the box, with a spell on her lips. So the people of the village had nightmares every night, dreaming of the creepy scarecrow and the box. That day the boy dug up the box. Inside was a set of silver teeth. He suddenly brought it up. The next moment, he bit the boy. The sister ran home to call for help. Luckily, his brother was brought back by his father. Not life-threatening, the doctor treated the wound. Amy came to see her brother at night. She found that he was not in the right state. She lifted up the quilt to take a look. There was a horrible tentacle on her brother's body. She screamed. She found her parents and explained the situation. When her father came to Edward's room, his son had disappeared from his bed. The Lord's father rushed to gather his men. But after a day of searching the forest, there was no sign of his son. The gypsies were brutally murdered. So they made a curse. They broke a tooth from the skull. Then they took a stack of gypsy silver coins. They burned them in a pot. They poured it into a mold. When it's cold, it's shaped and set into the tooth holder. Here comes the crucial part. Carve a few incantations. The cursed tooth that will ravage the village. And it's done. It was the last gasp of the annihilated gypsies. The boy noticed a figure in the bushes ahead of him. In the bushes in front of him, a figure coming at him fast. And when he reacted, he looked down. His arm was broken. The boy clutches his injured arm. He ran away frantically. He hid in an abandoned cabin. But the monster found him. As the townspeople were injured, they called in John the monster hunter to help investigate. At night, John dreamt of the scarecrow and the silver teeth. He immediately realized it was a curse. Because his wife and daughter were killed by the same monster, the woman fled to the woods. She grew tentacles of pain. Then she went to the center of the lake. The tentacles pulled her down in an instant. The tentacle grew wildly in the water. Eventually, the woman was completely wrapped in it. And that's when John came into the woods. He set up a large trap. He covered it and waited for the monster to come. Suddenly John woke up with a start. He was asleep. That's when the monster came. It broke through the wooden door and jumped on John. John's experience with his gun. Successfully dropped the monster into the trap. Then he shot it dead. He took the monster back. He started to dissect it. The woman crawled out of the monster. Now she's out of her mind. The monster was about to jump on them. John told the Lord's men to shoot. The man struggled for a long time. And then broke down and shot the woman free. John asked the Lord what he had done. To put a curse on the village. But the man, angry, said he'd take care of it all himself.